I really don't know where to start, but we'll start right here. And um, one of the things that I found at the moment is being cared for by so many different medical teams that lots of things get lost in translation and lots of misunderstandings, which has turned out to be how it is for the lesions on my lung. I don't have lesions on my lung, I have lesions on my liver. And that just came about from so many different people caring for me and everybody assuming what everybody else knew they were talking about. And for myself, not seeing a hard copy of the CT results. So we have got that sorted and I did end up having to have a scan on my liver to see what the lesions were. And I'd have to say the scan was bloody painful. They have to push in quite hard on that right hand side of your body and having just recently had abdomen and breast surgery, it really hurt. It was pretty intense. After 45 minutes, the woman said, look, I'm just going to pop out of the room for a minute and have a look at your CT results and then I'll be back. And off she went and it's just like, oh great, here we go. And then um, she came back 15 minutes later and had another go and then just said, I just think you're going to need an MRI. We need better pictures. So I'm really still hanging. I need to have an MRI to see what these lesions are. Um, I'm a bit gutted. I'm a bit, um, I don't know, I just can't get my head around it that, you know, I really don't want to have um, cancer in my liver. That's quite scary. But I've also kind of like accepted, well, nothing ever good or I don't get any luck and <laughs> luck never seems to come my way that it probably is cancer of my liver and I'm just going to die really quickly um, and really soon. I I know um, I don't want to do any more chemo. I couldn't couldn't cope with you know, even the thought of doing any more chemo just oh, just makes me nauseous. Um, and I know that shocks a lot of people and they, you know people say, oh, you've got children to live for, a husband to live for, you know, family and all that. And I don't know, I am just so tired of going from one thing to another and I just, oh no, I just couldn't do chemo right now. Um, but I'd have to say that last week if, you know, you'd spoken to me, I would have said 95%, there's no way in hell I'm doing any more chemo, that's it. If it is cancer in my liver, that's it, just let me die. Um, this week it's 75%, but um, I don't know, we'll wait and see. I haven't walked in front of a bus. Apparently that's because my friends tell me if I walk in front of a bus it's far too messy and that there's got to be better ways of doing it. <laughs> um, you know, a lot of people have been quick to say, oh God, Sarah, you need some counselling, you need some counselling. And I just think, bloody hell, when do I fit that in between my blood tests for my warfarin levels, seeing my plastic surgeon, seeing oncology, seeing my general medical team, my daughter's medical appointments, and my God, the whole idea of repeating our story to, to a, a bloody stranger again just makes me cringe and wild. Can you tell I'm somewhat pissed off about that suggestion? So no, I don't want any counselling. Maybe I can counsel some other people. I'm... um. My, my, I'm onto my fourth infection. Um, it's a lot smaller this time and looks like we're on top of it. And um, last week when I saw plastics, I really pleased with it and said, look, we don't need to see you for four weeks. So I was somewhat gutted when I got a phone call from them this morning saying, actually, we want you to come in tomorrow. We want to still continue to have a good close eye on you and stuff. And it's like, great, I'll just add it to my list. Um, it's, it's just all dragging me down right now. Um, and, and having these lesions on my liver, which could be absolutely nothing and might just be whatever they are and, and not cancer. Um, I just can't get my head around it and I think about, I'd reckon that I'd be better off if I died. Uh, it would just stop so much stress for my family, not having a sick wife, a sick mother, a sick everything. I just feel that, yeah, it would be better if I did. And then I you know, think it would just be so cool to um, go to heaven and see meet grandparents that I've never met, um, see my sister-in-law and, and niece that were killed in a car crash and my um, younger sister's dying at the moment and um, being able to see her again and, and I kind of like think wow that would be quite cool as well, I'm quite okay with that and then I think about well if I'm going to die where am I going to be buried, I'd like to be buried on my land and then, so then I've been researching can I be buried on my farm and then it's like well actually maybe I'd like to make my own coffin and, and it has just become self-absorbing and crazy. Um, I've been clearing out drawers just in case and it just seems to be um, at the forefront of my mind that um, it is going to be cancer. I just can't seem to get my head around any other way. And that I really, if it is, I just don't want to live. I just don't want life right now. And it's a lot of people have said, well, what if it's not? What if it's not and it's all okay? You'll be just out celebrating and having an amazing time. And I said, you know what? I think I've got myself so low and just so over this whole shit fight, excuse the language, but it's like if it, if it isn't cancer, I've been given a get out of jail free card as I've gone around Monopoly and when I hit the go to jail card, does it mean that the next time round I won't have that, that escape? Um, 
that just seems to be one thing after the other and like I say I don't seem to ever get good things or luck and stuff and I just don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I don't really want to socialise with people at the moment, I don't even want to go get, pick up the children from school and, and when I do come across people I just, like I said last time, just smile and say yeah everything's fine and you know one of the women said to me today, oh you know Sarah you're looking great, you, you know you've lost all this weight and I'm just thinking inside, yeah I've lost all this weight, I've thrown all these clothes out of my wardrobe because they don't fit me but do you know what, I think I'm going to die so let me see, I think I'd rather have some fat clothes in the wardrobe and still be alive but um, I don't know, it just some days just absolutely does my nothing that um, I just have to keep going. Um, I don't know, it just seems to be overwhelming. It's, it's um, easy for people to say to me, oh of course you'll do chemo, of course you'll keep on going and you know you're amazing and people you know post all these amazing um, comments and literally um, sentences and things about being brave and strong and all this and I think yeah but you don't live my life I don't know what it's like and after five years of just having to just go from one thing to another I've had enough I'm tired my body's tired and I just want to rest I don't know what I want but it's certainly not this right now